going to talk about um, a very interesting problem. Uh, it's finding the median of two sorted arrays of equal size. Let's take a look. So, assume you have two arrays of the same size, array x, which is sorted, and array y, which is also sorted, and both of them are of, of size n. So, what we need to, to do, or to solve for, is finding the median has, has this array was merged together into, say, array z of 2n, both x and y, and let's assume that this array is also, you know, sorted. If this array z, which is z equals union of x and y, um, if it's sorted, then the median by definition would be in the middle. So the median, assume its value m, it would be in the middle. So here I would have n elements larger than m, and I would have um, n minus 1 elements um, smaller than m. Now, how can we solve this problem? Um, one way to solve this problem is um, by looking at, you know, using applying the merge sort. Looking at x and y, um, the smallest elements would be at the beginning of each array. I will apply the merge concept. In other words, I, I would uh, imagine that I have a bucket over here, and I'm going to look at both elements, compare them, and the smaller, the smaller of the smaller of the both elements, I would put in the bucket, and I keep going as I go here and there. And then after n elements, I would know that I have reached um, to the median. Now, how, what is the runtime of this algorithm? It's, it's all of n. And, and can we do better? And notice that the keyword here is sorted. So both arrays are, are sorted. And that reminds us with another algorithm that depends on um, if the array are already, arrays are already sorted, which is binary search. So let's see how, how can we do better. Um, if the array is sorted and we can do something similar to binary search, divide and conquer, um, it turns out that we could do, and probably you guessed it right, we could do a log n um, runtime. And here is how. So let's assume This is, let's go back to our arrays. If we do divide and conquer, then we're hoping to achieve all log, all log n performance. And the way we do this is, here's the trick. If we have x and y, we will assume that the, um, the median is, you know, obviously the median is gonna be in one of them. So if the median, if we assume that the median is in x, Here, so the m of the median, the value of the median, let's assume it's in x, then what happens is, and, and the index is at p, and this distance from here to here is p minus 1. So I have p minus 1 elements on the left of this m. It means that the rest of the smaller element would be here. If I have p minus 1, then the rest would be here in y. All of this would be um, n minus p elements. And those n minus p should be smaller than m. Perfect. How about those that are greater than m? From here to here are all the elements in x that are greater than m. How many? n minus p. But I need m of them. The definition of median that I, I need to have n elements larger than n. But now I have n minus p in x. That means that the rest is in y. So in y, I have p elements. All right? Now, there's a, uh, an equality. There's, there's a property that we can derive from this, a property that has to be true uh, through your algorithm. 
and we're going to exploit that. We're going to depend on that in our algorithm. The property is, um, and it's very important, let me, let me use the coloring so I can color uh, maybe in red what's bigger than, what's going to be bigger than M in both X and Y. So what is the property? The property M, what is M? M is actually the element which is X of P, right? Okay. And X of P is great, should be greater than Y of all of this in Y, all of this, right? And what is all of this? It starts from index zero all the way to this element, this particular element over here, which is Y of N minus P. Right? But also, this element here that divides me, it, it should be less than, it should be less than y of what? Of the next element. That next element, if this, is, if this element here is n minus p, then the next one is n minus p plus 1. So it's n minus p plus 1. That element, x of p, which is the median of value m, should have this property. Once I have this property, I can manage this, my algorithm. So my algorithm is going to be, and it's okay, I'm going to start with this array x that I assume it has the median in it. And I'm going to, using divide and conquer, initially I'm going to say, oh, it, it's of size from 1 to n, I'm going to divide it by 2, so I'm going to assume p is here, and that p is in the middle. So I'm going to say, um, to generalize the algorithm, I'm going to consider that the lower bound is high, index of high, which high equals n, and if, if you're using zero index array, it's going to be n minus 1, right? And low is going to start from 1, but if we use the, from the first element, which, which is going to be 0 uh, initially, right? If you use zero-based indexing. So I have high and low. And p initially is going to be low plus high, over 2. That gives you actually exactly in the middle. That element is in the middle. Now, then I'm going to compare, and here's the trick that I'm going to recursively follow. If P happens to be in, it, look, if P happen, happens to, um, to obey this property, then I got my median, exactly. But what if it's less? What if it's here? It's here means P needs to move a little bit bigger. So I'm going to position, that means P is actually here in this part. So I'm going to consider my next search here. What is here? Here is P is going to, sorry, low, this element here is going to be low, which means low will be P plus 1 all the way to high, this guy. What If M, if, um, if X of P that I, that I guess, this could be a guessing, is less than y of n minus p. But what if it's bigger? If it's bigger means I need to go the other side. I need to go here and recursively uh, guess values of the medians in this range. So that's, that's pretty much it. So the, the algorithm is straightforward. So let's, let's see how would we implement that. So let's write this property again um, over here. It's larger than y of n minus p. Um, so let's call, this is a kind of a mix between a pseudocode and, and a code written in, in, probably written in C sharp or Java. I'm going to say int, maybe the declaration could be something like that. Find medium and here I'm gonna say yeah for for brevity consider this x but it's int is an array of int of, of, of integer and but for the space I'm gonna say x y but understand that this and this are actually arrays and then I'm gonna add low 
and how, which kind of I'm telling here is the range. Uh, where should I sh where should I examine x? Where should I guess my my median? And here I'm gonna put n, which is the total number, the original number, the original size of the array, because I need that. Um, and here's gonna uh, my approach. The first thing is really interesting. The base case for the algorithm, I would say, if if high is less than low, so I'm, I'm expecting, my expectation is, as I recurse, uh, that low is less than high. You know, that, that, so there's something I, I, I work on. But if recursively I find that high is actually less than low, that means I finished all x, I have exhausted x searching, and I didn't find the right median. Which in other words saying, because my first assumption that the uh, median is an x, that, and if I reach to this point, that means I exhausted it, x and I didn't find the median, then let's try y. So actually, that's what I'm doing here. If high less than low, then I have exhausted all x. Maybe I should search in y. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to recursively calling find median, and I'm going to switch x and y. So I'm going to say y and x. In other words, I'm saying, oh, start now looking into y opposite, because the median is going to most likely be in in, in, um, in y, and I'm going to try y all of it. So in this case, if I want to start from y, and, and I'm, I have to say, okay, start over, which is, is going to be from 0, um, probably to high, to n, actually, and I'm going to pass n. So this is going to be my new high, this is going to be my new low, and I'm starting over, as you can see, and um, so this is the base case. So I took I took care enough of my of my base case. Um, now let's move forward. Uh, I'm gonna capture. I'm gonna say I'm gonna calculate p. So integer p is gonna be low plus high plus two. Good. Now I capture m, the value that of the me of the supposedly the median. I'm gonna say in median equals um, x. Of, of that P. And now I'm going to see, I'm going to check what happens if I'm going to check that property. So if, if M is um, larger than or equal Y of, um, of N minus P, and basically it's the same thing as here, and M is smaller than or equal y of n minus p plus 1, right? then return, I, then I found my guy over here. I find the median. Return m. Got it. But here's, but let's, let's deal with other cases. If, if, if it comes here in the middle, if m actually got shifted in the left here, that means I need to search. That means the median is on the left side of, of x, left side of, of, of here, of the value that I guess. I need to guess in this range. So how would I do that? Let's, let's write that first. If m less than y of n minus p, then I'm going to call find median, uh, I'm sorry, return find median. And here I'm going to put x and y, the normal side, the normal, but the range is going to be p plus 1, because I'm going to, I'm going to go from this part, I'm going to search from this part, all the way up to high, which is this guy over here, and, and I pass n, and there you go. Else, else, what does it mean else? That case, if actually x of n, the opposite. If, if, I'm, if I'm here, then I should search in the other part over here. Then return find medium. Um, find medium x, y. But in this case, I would start from the left side. I'm going to try here, this part over here. And that part starts easy, start from low. But it ends at p minus 1. 
and I will pass in as well to the number and, and that's it. So that's, that's our algorithm for today. Um, thank you very much.